Here are the steps for installing self-adhesive base sheet membranes with a weldable surface on a parapet. Start by applying the primer to the support panel using a roller. Note that it is important to let the primer dry according to the drying time indicated on the technical data sheet. It is also important that the base sheet membrane be installed as quickly as possible once the primer is dry and no later than 2-3 hours after its application. Use a chalk line to draw a line on the field surface at a distance of 100 mm or 4 inches from the parapet to identify the minimum overlap required between the flashing membrane and the field surface. Take the necessary measurements to pre-cut the membrane. Mark your membrane with the end of your measuring tape. Cut at an angle the corners of the membrane that will be covered by the adjacent membrane and cut the membrane. Stand at a minimum of 1 meter or 3 feet from the perimeter of the roof and preheat the plastic film of the overlaps. This applies to all parapet membranes. Check that the primer is dry to the touch and no longer sticky on your fingers. Position the membrane on the parapet in strips of 1 meter or 39 inches wide, making sure to align the bottom of the membrane with the chalk line on the ground. Remember that at the base of the parapet, the plastic film of the field surface membrane was preheated to a safe distance of a meter or 39 inches from the parapet during its installation. Release the first half of the silicone film so as to bond the membrane on the top of the parapet using the membrane roller. Once the top is bonded in place, Peel the rest of the silicone film and use the membrane roller to bond the membrane on the bottom of the parapet. Run a membrane roller over the entire membrane to achieve complete and uniform adhesion. Install the second membrane by overlapping it with the first one according to the line provided for this purpose. The installation method is the same, just pay special attention to membrane overlaps. Properly smooth the membrane with a membrane roller to remove any air bubbles from these critical spots. Note that the flashing base sheet membranes must be offset of at least 100 mm or 4 inches in relation to any membrane overlap already installed in order to avoid any over thickness. Here are the installation steps for the corner membranes. For inside corners, bend the first corner membrane according to the measurements you took and cut the membrane at the lower corner of the parapet. Position the membrane over the corner and cut off the upper corner. Remove the membrane from the parapet and cut the silicone film at the side lap. You can now install the membrane in place by following the steps shown earlier for standard flashing membranes. Remove the silicone film from the side lap and install it. If necessary, adjust the membrane cuts as excess thicknesses must be avoided. Run a membrane roller over the entire membrane to achieve complete and uniform adhesion. Then fold the second inside corner membrane and cut it at the lower corner. Position the membrane on the parapet and cut it at the upper corner. Remove the membrane and cut the side lap. Place the membrane on the parapet and install it in place following the steps shown earlier for standard flashing membranes. Heat the bitumen from a piece of membrane and apply the hot bitumen to the corners using a trowel. Once this step is completed, you're allowed to use a torch around the parapets since they're all well sealed at this location and therefore safe.
Cut a piece of membrane so as to obtain a reinforcement gusset for the corners. Heat the corner where the gusset will be installed as well as the back of the gusset using the torch. Install the gusset on the inner corner of the parapet. For the exterior corner membranes, position the first corner membrane on the parapet. Cut the membrane at the lower corner, the upper corner, as well as the excess on the horizontal part of the parapet. You can now install the membrane in place by following the steps shown earlier for standard flashing membranes. For the second corner membrane, position the membrane on the parapet and pinch the membrane at the top corners. Fold and cut the membrane at the bottom and top corners. Heat the plastic film of the overlaps at a safe distance of 1 meter or 39 inches from the parapets. Position the membrane on the parapet and release the upper part of the silicone film. Install the membrane to the upper corner and cut off the excess membrane on the top of the parapet. Bond this overlap using the membrane roller and continue installing the membrane by following the steps shown earlier for standard flashing membranes. Cut the vertical lap of the second membrane with the utility knife and round the membrane roller to obtain complete and uniform adhesion. Heat the bitumen from a piece of membrane and apply the hot bitumen to the corners of the parapet using a trowel. Heat the corner where the gusset will be installed as well as the back of the gusset using the torch. Install the gusset on the outside corner of the parapet To complete the installation of the parapet membranes, all you have to do is seal each membrane overlap with the torch and the trowel. This installation is now complete.